Hello witches, it's Stregabella here. Um, I thought I would make um, a video about floor washes. Um, floor washes are usually a very big part of um, a lot of people's practices. Um, many people use vinegar, uh, vinegar with whatever herbs um, to cleanse and consecrate their altars and their homes, their floors, and such. Um, floor washes are particularly popular um, in hoodoo practice. Now, um, I have just started making my own floor washes, and I thought I would share a few simple recipes. Um, some of you may think it's a little weird because um, one of the main ingredients is your own urine. Now, um, animals like, uh, you know, especially dogs, um, tend to mark their territory. And I believe, um, you know, animals do this because they know that it works to keep enemies away. Um, anybody who seeks to threaten their territory or take their mate, take their harm, cause harm to their um, offspring or their family or their pack, um, they mark their territory. So, um, you know, witches also use this type of um, natural defense. Um, it's best to use your early morning urine. Um, now, to keep away evil eye or somebody wishing um, negativity, uh, somebody who has envy or just in general um, bad feelings about you or your family, wishes something bad on you, um, Three simple ingredients, um, your first morning urine, saltpeter, and pine needles. Um, I actually made some of this today, which is um, what made me think of making the floor wash video. Now, those are the three ingredients um, in the recipe that I found, but to mine, I also add a little extra kick. Um, plus, you know, if you're using just your first morning urine, um, it's not going to make very much if you just use those three ingredients. Um, so to mine, I also add um, equal parts of um, purified water and vodka. Uh, and it just, you know, it gets you more and it adds a little bit extra. Um, some people use uh, Florida water um, to make their floor washes, which I believe is vodka and water mixed together. Um... I could be wrong, I don't know, but um, some people use um, that to make their floor washes. Um, I also added um, seed pods from pine cones. Um, I collected a whole mess of them not too long ago from a pine tree in my local cemetery. Um, some of you know I have a cemetery right behind my house, which is very convenient being a witch. I can get graveyard dirt at all hours of the day and night, um, anytime I want. I have um, soldiers back there that um, I have a really cool spell I'll share with you another time. But um, you can actually, if you go to a grave of a veteran or a soldier or a police officer, um, it should be one that you don't know or regularly visit because once you do the spell, um, you can't ever revisit the grave again. But you can actually put an enemy or somebody who has wronged you or committed a crime against you, you can put them in charge of that, holding that person, binding them from harming you ever again. So that's an interesting um, spell. And I have a whole mess of soldiers back there. There's an entire section of the cemetery um, devoted to veterans. So, um, But back to the floor wash. Um, I also added um, these baby pine cones because, to me, um, they really smell really, really strong, um, more strong than the pine needles even, but also um, because, to me, the baby seed pods represented my children. Um, if you have a feeling, you know, your gut instinct that something feels right to you, like a representation, because the whole point is the intent in the spell, and, um, you know, before you do it, you should be thinking about exactly who you want to protect, from what, why, you know, and um, really visualize what your intention for this floor wash is going to be. 
Um, you don't necessarily have to just use it on your floor. You can use it around the outside of your home, um, windows, doors, altar, you know, whatever you are trying to protect from um, what you're trying to protect it from. Um, but this particular one is supposed to be for, like, evil eye. Um, like I've described in previous videos, um, Malachia is what we call it in Italian in uh, my strega practice um but yeah so um the for me um the baby pine cones represent uh more accurately my children um and obviously i want to protect my whole family so um you know think about that and make the recipe your own um, I like to not use it immediately. Um, there were no instructions as to how long you have to let it set, but do what feels right to you. I would let it set on my altar at least for 24 hours, um, probably three, three days. Um, and, you know, just do what feels right to you. Um, some other recipes I have that, they're all real simple. Um, if you are trying to get rid of um, a negative entity, spirit, um, or something like that, there's an exorcism wash, which is just garlic, pepper, and vinegar. Um, you could use red pepper or black pepper, um, whichever feels right. I like to grind up. Um, I use peppercorns whenever I use pepper. I don't use the powdered kind. Um, same thing with the saltpeter, by the way. Um, saltpeter usually comes in these little ball looking things and even though it dissolves it's always good to um, start from the most pure form that you can and do it yourself at least that's what I find because um, you know the more you're doing it and grinding it you're still you're thinking about your intention and you're putting your energy into it um, so the exorcism wash is garlic pepper and vinegar so, like I said, um, you can put it, uh, grind the pepper and the garlic up and add it to the vinegar. Um, with this, I probably also would add, I'd probably add some uh, vodka or water or something like that just to make it a little bit more because I have a huge house. But um, do what you feel best. Um, there's a wash for peace. Um, some people feel like, uh, you know, people are not getting along in their homes. Um, just irritable or whatever, and you want to calm the atmosphere, calm the environment in your home, you can use sugar, lavender, and rose water. Very nice. Um, I love the smell of rose water, but um, roses are so expensive. <laughs> I find myself, whenever I see a good deal on roses, I just want to buy them, not to look at the beautiful flowers or buy myself a bouquet, but I'm like, ooh, I want to dry those roses up. <laughs> I bet you guys probably do the same thing. Um, there, there's a repelling and keeping away wash. So if somebody visits you who is an unwanted guest and you don't want them to come back, you can use witch's salt, which is um, salt that is made black by um, ashes or soot. Um, different people have different recipes for that. Um, when I make black witch's salt, I add... Um, several herbs to mine. I may make a video on that in the future. Um, but witch's salt, valerian root, root, and it says broom. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Um, maybe sweep it around. I don't know. I don't think there's an er herb called broom, but that's what this recipe says. Um, Spiritual cleansing wash is powdered eggshells. Save your eggshells, people. Um, I'm, I always throw them away and then afterwards regret and say, Oh, I could have saved those eggshells. Um, but yeah, powdered eggshells, you got to crush them up. Um, or you, I think you can buy powdered eggshells as well, but um, I always crush them up myself. Save money that way. Um, oak bark and lemongrass. So that is for spiritual cleansing. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I know I just recently um, made a bunch of my videos public again. Um, you guys know that I had to disappear for a little bit because I had um, some court stuff going on. I still do, but um, 
I just uh, think for me, it's much more beneficial for my mental health to keep making YouTube videos because for me, this is my um, support system and my um, mental health uh, helper. <laughs> So, I am going to continue making videos, but um, some of you uh, s noticed that um, all of my videos haven't reappeared. It's because um, my internet and my television and everything got shut off due to non-payment of the bill, because my ex is supposed to have not shut off our utilities, so um, my bill is still in his name and he hasn't paid it. And um, rather than spending all of that money, I think it's like $180 for the bill, um, I have enrolled my children in a program where you can get internet for $10 a month. Um, those of you who may be low income, um, there's a program going on for children who get free or reduced lunch. Um, you call up and you, for $10 a month with no down payment, no, um, they don't charge you for the modem or anything. Um, you can cancel at any time. There's no sign-up fees or anything. Just straight up $10 a month for internet um, so that your children have access to internet. Um, and I have two eligible children, so why not? Why pay $130 a month when you can pay $10 a month? So if I have to live without television or um, a home phone, I've done that for many years. So... To me, that's not a problem, but I do need my internet, for sure, um, especially for YouTube, because if I do it on my phone, um, it uses all my data, which goes very quickly. Um, so, um, the reason that I haven't republished, I have like 300, maybe 400 videos, um, but on my phone, when I do that, when I make them public, I have to click on each one and then post it one at a time, over and over and over again. So I'm going to wait until I can go on the um, the regular PC, because then I can just select all my videos and make them public all at once. Because um, I just don't have the time to sit there for like 400 videos <laughs> and go one at a time. It'll take me the rest of my life. So um, if you guys have old videos of mine that you wanted to see or whatever. They will be back eventually um, when I do get a chance to go on there and put them all back. But um, for now, I just I did as many as I could and um, I got sick of doing it. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will probably make some more videos. I am getting at my... Um, I just... Um, I don't know if you guys do the same thing. You probably do, but as the moon changes, um, I change with it. Um, I'm very connected to the phases of the moon. As we um, near the full moon, I just get like that energy kicking in, and um, I start doing my witchy stuff. I just woke up from sleep immediately, popped out of bed doing stuff, and um, I love when that happens. It's kind of sad when the waning happens, though and you get that not so motivated but it's good that we're connected to the moon all right guys have a great day blessed be bye